Hey everyone, Dave here again with Alaskan Homesteading. Today I'm going to show you uh, a little bit more on the sawmill. I'm going to start the unboxing process. Um, I mentioned a while back in my delivery day video that we received our sawmill from Woodland Mills. Uh, the crates have been sitting here during my extended trip out of the state and so now I'm ready to start getting into it, getting, um, getting organized and figuring out what I'm going to need to build it, what tools I need to have kind of set aside, uh, what space I need, because this is going to be a very large piece of equipment. It's going to take up a lot of space, and so I need to kind of be prepared to, to have it sit somewhere for a little while while I put it all together. So anyway, uh, let's go inside the garage and uh, I'll start uh, showing you what's in the boxes. So the first box we have here is the trailer assembly. This is what's going to allow us to make this portable sawmill truly portable. We can tow it behind any of our vehicles. I don't think it's going to weigh all that much. That gives us the opportunity to mill lumber on site in different places and just haul the lumber back home. Woodland Mills packages all these things. We've got an outer cardboard box and a steel crate inside. never done an unboxing video of any kind before, so this is just my take on it. Alright, All right, so let's see what we've got. We've got the manuals, which from everything I've heard, Woodland Mills does a great job on their manuals, so we're looking forward to going through these later. And we've got a wiring harness, some wheels and tires, trailer tongue, fenders. And this is just going to be a box of miscellaneous nuts and bolts and hardware and so on. And somewhere in here we should have jacks for raising and lowering the trailer. I'm not sure what all's in these guys here. That might be a mess. Yeah, these are the trailer jacks. And more pieces of the metal structure of the trailer. This is all packaged pretty well, even though even though the crate arrived with a label saying it was damaged. Uh, I don't think there's anything really wrong in here. I think all of the stuff that happened was just superficial cosmetic damage to the cardboard and so on. So I'm not too worried. And this is nice as a nameplate for the trailer Woodlander. That's the, their Woodland Mills name for their trailer. Nice uh, heavy duty ratchet strap which I don't know how that gets used, but we'll uh, learn more about that later. Underneath this layer of cardboard, I suspect, is going to be the rails for the trailer. I'm not going to get into that quite yet. We'll pull that apart 
in a separate video because the first thing we actually have to do is build the track for the sawmill because the track becomes an integral part of the bed of the trailer. The next piece we'll get into is this log loading ramp and winch kit for the Woodlander. This is going to help us load heavy logs onto the trailer. It's basically a set of steel ramps that get stored on the trailer and you can deploy them whenever you're on site and it allows you to use the mechanical advantage of what amounts to a boat winch to bring your heavy logs up onto the trailer. This winch gets mounted on a post and you have a cable that goes around the log and you bring it up onto the trailer that way. So again, more instructions. We'll get into this in more detail later, but for today we'll just kind of say that's the log ramp kit and call it good. So we also ordered a spare parts kit to go with the mill so that during assembly or shortly after using it, when I inevitably make some kind of an error, uh, we'll have a few spare parts for some critical components. And of course, going along with the theme of spare parts, I went ahead and ordered a pack of 10 blades to start off with, figuring that in my first few uses of this mill, I am more than likely going to end up messing something up and uh, having some spare blades on hand will sure make it a lot easier to deal with. And finally, this is the big box, the actual mill itself. We ordered the HM126 with the 14 horsepower Kohler engine. And we also ordered track extensions and trailer extensions that will enable us to handle 16 foot logs instead of the standard about uh, about 10 feet for the regular version of this mill. All right, let's get into this box. Again, this box was marked as damaged, but I suspect that all we're going to find is the cardboard got punctured on the outside. These things are shipped in steel crates inside. strapping. And I'm going to have to go to the dump again to get rid of all this packing material. It really is a bit much but I understand the necessity of protecting the equipment in transit.
Well, the good news here is that it just so happens that I have this aligned in a way that'll end up being convenient. One of the steps of unboxing this, which I'm not going to show today, is to take the actual sawmill head and tip it out of the crate onto the floor. Real, really, it'll have to be out onto some pieces of lumber to support it. But that side that it'll be tipped out onto is, uh, is a convenient location for it to be, at least in the short term. So that's a good thing. And it also does not appear that the crate was pierced on, on the side with the sawmill head, so there shouldn't be any damage to the doors or anything. So that's a good, uh, that's a good thing. But lots and lots of parts in here. Let to see if I can find another package of manuals. But I may need to get into some of these other internal boxes to locate that. Oh, that's true. The owner's manual is conveniently stored inside this little, little black pod mounted on the sawmill head. Really good spot for it, actually, because that means it's always there when you need it, as long as you put it back where it belongs when you're done with it. And it's in a nice little weatherproof housing, so you can keep it on there all the time and not worry about it getting damaged. So what do we have? The manual for the engine and the manual for the sawmill. So, put that back. about wrap it up for today. I really just wanted to do a quick video of the unboxing of the major components. It gave me the chance to take a look and see if there was any actual damage that I needed to be concerned about and it doesn't look like there is so we're in good shape there. The next thing I'll have to do is get into assembling the actual sawmill and the track and that's going to be a little bit more involved so I have to sit down with the manual and do some reading and, and plan out my workspace a little bit. But uh, for now, th that's all I have for you today. So uh, if you like this and you want to see more about the sawmill, go ahead and hit that like button. If you don't, well, <laughs> go ahead and comment and we can talk about it. But uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.